sliced apples in a simple syrup and canned for later use for anything that you want to use sliced apples for whether it's just to eat them pie fillings pancakes or making applesauce apple fritters apple crisp anything you want so all I did was core slice and peel I've got them in lemon water for the acidity and that is 16 cups of apples so I'm going to use five cups of organic cane sugar the recipe would normally call for eight but I don't want that much sugar I want a light syrup and then I'm going to use eight tablespoons of lemon juice in the simple syrup to keep uh, the acid levels up then I'm going to water bath them so I'll show you that all I'm going to do now is get my sterilized jars out get my water going fill my jars and go from there my jars are going to be coming to a boil soon and that'll sanitize them for 10 minutes and I've got my simple syrup getting ready to melt the sugar there is eight cups of water filtered water five cups of organic cane sugar you're just going to bring this to a warm melted state and then I'm going to add in apples and let them cook down and soften for just a few minutes maybe maybe five minutes and then I'll pack my jars oh and also I'm going to be adding cinnamon to taste that is one step that you just have to adjust for yourself based on what you like you can leave it out and add it as you use your apples but I'm going to go ahead and be adding mine okay jars are heating up apples are in my cinnamon sugar mix with the lemon juice and the water and I'm just going to let them get good and hot which will soften them a little bit it will make it easier for them to go into the quart jars then we'll clean up our lids like always and put them back in the canner something else that you can do with sliced canned apples that have the cinnamon on it is fried apples you just add the mixture with some butter in a skillet and cook that down my grandfather used to make homemade fried apples and this definitely reminds me of him the jars are sanitized and the apples are hot so i'm going to do these one jar at a time take our plastic ladle this is going to be a little messy and we're going to drop our apples in fill in our jars with apples and some of the liquid Our debubbler and mash some of those down. Get them on in there. And we'll debubble as we go, and that'll settle some down. And then we can add a few more. All right. 
I'm gonna double check, but I think we need to leave an inch headspace because this is not like an apple butter. So I'm gonna check my ball canning book and make sure that we are gonna debubble really well. Make sure our apples are covered with liquid. They will float a little bit. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this rim just and running. Grab my book for a second and just make sure. One half inch headspace. And as you can see, we are at one half inch headspace. I'm gonna re wipe the rim, add my lid and ring, and return it to the canner. Don't want to leave anything on those rims because it does have sugar and we don't want a failure to seal. Those are a little hot. Oh. Get that on there, finger tight. And return it to the canner. And we'll grab another jar and repeat until we're completely done. That yielded five quarts of sliced apple cinnamon slices. And I have some of the cinnamon syrup left over. So what I'm gonna do to keep from wasting it is over here where I'm making uh, applesauce, I'm gonna add that to it. That'll give it a little cinnamon sugary taste and make applesauce that way. I've got some plain already, so that'll give an extra special little twist to it. And nothing's wasted. Since I had the two jars left over, and because I added the apple cinnamon sugar mix with lemon to what's gonna be applesauce, I can actually take some of these apples and continue to fill these jars and then my canner will be completely full to process. Same principle, I just cook those few in the uh, oven roaster. Now the canner is full and we're gonna bring that to the rolling boil and process it for my altitude and time is 20 minutes and then I'll let sit raised up out of the water for five minutes. An extra note, you want to be sure your jars or your lids are completely covered with water. They say it's about an inch. Really, there's probably not that much room in the canner with the quart jars. So I'd say cover it good at least half an inch. I may have an inch in there. Kind of hard to tell. They're covered nicely though. The processing is done. So now we wait. We'll let them sit here for five minutes and then move them to the towel. And they'll be ready to sit overnight. Five minutes is up. Time to set them on the towel. They'll rest here overnight. In the morning, I'll take the rings off, wipe the jars down, and label them. The apples will settle some. You see they've floated up just a little bit, but they will settle as they cool. Thanks for watching.